Thanks, Dave, and welcome back to the OSU Roundup. Let's talk a little bit about the Cowgirl basketball team. And coach, you know, when you look at the last five ball games, there have been win or lose, a combination of difference in those five games, 19 points total, 3.8 points per game. When we say grind in the Big 12, the grind is even tougher right now because every game is truly coming down to one or two possessions. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Casey. We've shown our, our kids on tape that one play in each game uh, may result in a, a win or loss. And, and uh, we've had a one, two, four, five point loss during that time and, uh, and then a close win at West Virginia. So. Uh, not blocking out on a free throw, uh, giving up a, a poor close out in the second quarter, uh, missing a dead two-footer. Uh, it, it's been that way for us and a lot of teams for years in this conference. Now you got Baylor who's got a little bit more of a margin for air, but uh, the rest of us, it comes down to two, three possessions a game. It really does, and it has as of late even more so than even typical. I mean, there isn't that 10, 15 point win or loss. It's all really down to the nitty gritty. Because of that, it does tend to wear on the kids. I mean, it wears that they're not having as much success when you don't get the win. And even if you are winning, it's, it's still a, a bit of a grind. What is the mentality of your team right now? What, where, where are they at? Well, I think we're really disappointed and, and our kids want to win and uh, you know, we're fighting hard and not getting any rewards out of it right now. So it's it's difficult. So we just got to try to try to keep their spirits up while we're correcting some of these correctable errors and, uh, you know, wait to get some of our kids back. However, coach, again, and I know the competitive side of you and I know how hard it is to to be a uh, be positive when you're agonizing and that's what this team is going through but when you look at the close game against Texas when you look at the close game against TCU I think those two teams probably deservingly and are sitting in the second spot of this conference and you've done that without 40 percent of your starting lineup that that may sound like an excuse I don't want to make it an excuse but what I do want to say is you know you're getting at least part of that back soon if you can do it without them once they're back and added, if, if they can get back in the fold quickly, you've got some depth and you've got hope that now, hey, we can get on a run here. You know, uh, the, the positive that you try to draw out of it is uh, KB SARS developed, you know, and gotten better. Abby Winchester has given you positive minutes. So now when you are able to get some kids back, you've strengthened your bench, you feel more comfortable putting some young ladies in the game. Well, you know, interestingly enough with Klee too, you know, she's played all kinds of positions now. She's become a utility player for you. You really can put her in the lineup in a lot of spots. No, we've played her at the two, three, and four, and she's guarded both uh, uh, all of those spots at the same time. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're, you got to try to draw on the positives when you lose a lot of tough games like this. TCU coach, you guys gave up a lot of offensive rebounds, gave up 19, but it only led to four uh, second chance points. You actually had more second chance points than they did. Very odd in that number, but there still is a downfall in the fact that you don't have the ball in your hand for longer amounts of times. And as you pointed out, that can contribute to foul trouble. No, it can, and, and that's not a good stat. And, and most times when you give up 19 offensive boards, you're going to give up 15 to 20 points. So that's not a good habit to get into. You guys shot 40% in this game, shot 55% beyond the arc. Those are, those are winning numbers most of the time, and those are the kinds of the numbers that you like. Plus, you saw a third score, a third uh, contributor offensively in this game, which was really good. No, that's, that's what we need is to get that third and fourth player and double figures. I thought our shot selection was better. Uh, we need to take between eight to ten three-pointers a game, so we were pretty close. We told our kids uh, West Virginia shot 32 threes against TCU, and that fuels what they want to do. So uh, I was pleased that we listened in that respect and and uh, stuck to the game plan that we don't need to shoot a lot of threes. And when the threes come, it needs to be when the shot clock is winding down and 
basically a last resort. Made a lot of good plays, a lot of bit, had 32 points in the paint in this game. You out transitioned uh, TCU 18 to 8. So a lot of really good things here. Coach, now we get to the halfway point as you go to Lubbock, Texas, and everybody's in the books one time. And then next week, you start that, uh, that second, that round robin, heading to Iowa State. Three of the next four on the road. That sounds really bad, except for the fact, again, maybe Natasha Mack is back soon, and you've been better on the road, as everybody has in this league. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been crazy. I've never seen a year like this in the Big 12 where there have been so many road wins, so uh, I don't know what the explanation for that is. Uh, you, you really need to hold your your serve at home and, and we haven't done that so now we got to go get some wins on the road. Got to get a few stills at home and on the road. Coach best of luck uh, this week yeah, this weekend. We'll see you next week. All right. Thanks Casey. Again the Cowgirls going to be in Lubbock Texas taking on Texas Tech three o'clock on Saturday. We need to take a time out when we come back. We're going to be talking wrestling. John Smith will join us. We'll talk about his weekend hosting a couple of games a couple of matches and we'll talk about those coming up right after this.